<laughs> and we back. Yeah. I don't know how we're going to do when we get old, bro. <laughs> I mean, I know there's a time to retire. Yeah. I just, this is why people hire assistants to make sure that you're straight. I can't remember what they're called, but. Yeah. They're the ones that notice if, like, you know, you got a piece of lip right here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, a booger hang on the side of your nose. Yeah, we need one of those now, though. Yeah, lint on your chest. Because, you know, when you work as hard as we do, sometimes it's just be hard to care, bro. It do. And it's like, you know you're going to be on camera. Yeah. Like, y'all, he, the reason I'm in a white tee today is because he forced me to put on a white tee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, you need me to buy a white tee today, like, bro. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that hoodie was... It, it's like... I mean, it's, it's it's dusty for podcast purposes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If we was just chilling, you know, he's straight. But yeah, it's, we've been working, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we have, man. This, this is what accountability looks like. You yeah, know what I'm didn't even need accountability. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bruh, I ain't even going. Did he do it? D- did he do it or didn't he? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Allegedly. Bro. But all I will say about that is this is what happens when you don't have accountability, bro. My man's... <sighs> see, Facts, People bro. be thinking money can shield them from stuff, bro. It don't always work like that. Facts, bro. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, bro, it's like, even like... This is how... You know what I mean? Like, none of us know anything that happened. You know what I'm saying? All this is allegedly. All this is alleged. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, yo, things like this don't necessarily happen if ain't nothing happened. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if it wasn't to the extreme, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's still like, yo, because somebody can come out with some wild out allegations. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, they did that against T.I. and his wife. Yeah. Because nothing happened, it went nowhere. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Real fast. You yep. know what I mean? But, you know what I'm saying? When, when you shell out $100 million, Ooh, you know what I mean? Man. I ain't shelling out $100 million. For, you got to show me. Yeah. <laughs> you about to get the tapes. <laughs> Nigga, we sitting in court. <laughs> I'm like, what'd she say? <laughs> what'd she say? Ah, Nigga, you about to show man, me. Man. I want to show me exactly what happened. Who it was, where it was. <laughs> the freak offs I need to see Bro that part So I'm like man <laughs> Cause I ain't giving you A hundred million Nothing Bro a hundred million Is a lot of money bro Bruh Like yeah, even man. for a settlement Like you know You, you hear a settlement You usually hear like Maybe two million I ain't never heard Of a hundred million Nah bro. bro That's In my life That screams like Make records. this go away Yeah Yeah man And if I'm the feds I'm be like I'm going to be clicking my heels and skipping on my way <laughs> to figure out what my man's got going on. I'm going to be like, oh, word? Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, <laughs> this bro. is enough for motive. Yeah. It's like, it's, I'm like, <laughs> niggas be saying stuff that don't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> this is enough for motive. <laughs> like, bro, what? <laughs> it took that man, I, if I remember right, I read somewhere it took him off a of billionaire status, bro. So I'm like, you have Ooh. a billion dollars. You came up off a hundred mil. Mm. So that took you out of billionaire status. Lord. So man. you're a billionaire. You're no longer a billionaire. If I'm the feds, bro, I'm like, yes, I'm putting on Jaquan's hood hop. You know what I'm saying? And I'm tapping all of his lines, bro. Because, yeah, yeah but it's wild. Like, when I seen the way they raided his house, bro, I was like, this doesn't look good, bro. Because yeah. usually, I mean, because, like, if you, when police come and they say they have a warrant, yeah, they might come with a team of people, but they're not coming with, with the boys, the boys. Well, this is the thing, bro. And this is where I will offer a little bit of pushback when it comes to the show of force. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, it always seems like it's excessive when it comes to us specifically. Because let's take your boy that was uh, um, jailbreaking fire sticks when fire sticks first hit the Uh, market. uh, Omni and the Hellcat? Yeah. he (laughs) He balled out in the feds when they came bro they had guns everything bro like nah they did the same thing when it came to uh uh mixtapes bro and i just feel like it's i'm just feel like i just feel like all right man you know what i'm saying i'm like (laughs) like dressed for the occasion you know what i'm saying like y'all boys came like (laughs) you know what i mean it was saddam hussein hiding out in there man yeah and i i i get they say they want to be safe but i'm like bro my man they pulled up with (laughs) 11.5 inch ars bro you know what i'm saying probably had 300 blackout they was ready for combat bro i'm like what'd you think was gonna happen 
You thought Diddy's going to come out to the front door. <laughs> you know, it's come get me, nigga. <laughs> bro, they thought that man did his pink cocaine, bro. And it was coming to the top of the staircase like, bad boy, baby. I'm like, man, what? <laughs> man. I'm like, at most, man, you're going to get the uh, his sons to come out and start dancing, bro. Yeah. Hit that dance, bro. I, like, I mean, like, ain't I, take all that, man. No, nah, like I said, I, I do understand, you know, you might have maybe one or two. And I get it as a compound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they brought the army out there. I'm like, boy. I'm like, yeah, bro. Like, like you know what I'm saying? The neighborhood I'm in, bro. There was a, uh, the, the SWAT came <laughs> out here. God, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For a drug bust. Now, it's, it's relatively quiet out here. You know what I mean? <laughs> Which doesn't mean anything, you know what I'm saying? Because anything can happen at any time Quiet in Virginia. Quiet is actually better. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But anything can happen in Virginia, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> and one morning I look outside and I see a whole <laughs> mini army outside mm -hmm. with ARs. And they about to bust, out, bust down the door, you know what I'm saying, for my neighbor, you know what I mean? Now, that was for drugs, you know what I'm saying? It was drug related, you know what I mean? So it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, usually in that situation, niggas that sell drugs don't want to go to jail. Yeah. So they bang out. You know yeah. what I mean? They, they got they have a lot less to lose. <laughs> but Diddy, you know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure they did surveillance, bro. Like they knew nobody was there for real. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> I mean That's the more, crazy. The bro. more you talk about it, the more it is like it's excessive, bro. It was, it was like, wild, man. Yeah, it's like, I mean, cause what I mean, really, like, I mean, for the nature of what you're there for, like, it's not going to be, it's just not going to be violent, bro. Like, I've yeah. never, never, actually, as I think about it, ever seen a situation like this involving a celebrity where it turned violent and even deadly. Ever. Most people don't really want smoke with the Alphabet Boys. Nah. The feds, the federales. Nah. And if they didn't did something that crazy, they usually take themselves about here before anybody get a chance to. <laughs> they be much. like, oh, they gone. And niggas be like, what, what happened? What? And yeah. then they come out later like, oh, yeah, he was <laughs> fondling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. I'm... Um, so I wonder, man. I mean, again, we 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 don't know. You know what I'm saying? What is yeah. U.S. innocent until proven guilty, right? Yeah. Regardless of what you might think or believe, that's what our legal system says. You know what I'm saying? So how could Diddy get himself out of this, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bro. If, you, <laughs> if, if $100 million, bro, don't get you out of this, I don't have nothing for you, bro. Oh, pass out. I'm just like... <laughs> God. I'm oh, like, God. Lord, call on the Lord, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just like, Jesus, repent, nigga. <laughs> call on the Lord. I don't care what, like, even if you didn't do it, repent anyway, nigga. Like, <laughs> yeah. God, I don't know what I did for this to happen, but please, I surrender my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my heart right now. <laughs> bro, <laughs> sinner's prayer, whatever other That's prayers. I did one night in jail and got on my knees in front of a nigga. I was like, Lord, God, I'm not going to do this again, God. Please, Father, please get me out of here, Lord. That nigga was looking at me like, <laughs> I'm like, nigga, you better pray, nigga. Shoot, I was out that next day. I was gone, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, man. I was gone. The Lord, he did a work. Yeah. Easter Sundays tomorrow. I mean, I don't know, bro. Maybe he needs to go to church. Maybe you need to pass out some turkeys. You need to start <laughs> doing community didn't service. Pass bro. out turkeys. Dog. I think we beyond passing out turkey <laughs> status. At this I'm, point. I'm, I'm, I'm Diddy, bro. I'm For turning really? into the most charitable human being. I'm donating to yeah. anti, you know, because I'm like, the first thing lawyers tell you is don't say anything. Say nothing. So, like, if I'm Diddy, I'm going to be at every charitable organization, <laughs> every event. I'm going to be donating Facts. money. Facts. I'm like, look. So, in the event that the courts do find him guilty, I don't, I mean, I'm like, look. I mean, I, I did do this, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I gave to, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, but, you know, I don't know. Right now, <laughs> my man's is, uh, he chilling. He chilling real hard. Yeah. I ain't mad at him. Because the hundred million dollars didn't work. <laughs> I'm about to just sit here. Yeah, he Indian style. Cause <laughs> I just, <laughs> I, cause I'm about I to sit here. Because, I mean, like, you know, like, it's not like they was uh, looking for him specifically. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To my knowledge, they just got a warrant to search properties. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm guessing, you know, depending on the outcome of that, will determine if, you know, something yeah. happened that, you know, brings further charges or, you know what I'm saying? Any charges, yeah. you know what I mean? They're in the process of building a case because um, the thing is that, man, like a federal judge is not going to sign off on anything that's going to make them look crazy. Yeah. Because if they sign off on something and it turns to be a wild goose chase, they're going to be looking at them like you spent taxpayers' dollars. Yeah. You came to me with all of this and his <clears throat> heads are going to roll. So they wouldn't sign off on it unless it was a real reason to sign off on it. Yeah. Not the first time, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We can't forget about the infamous Murder, Inc. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Yeah. Because <laughs> they just knew. You know what I mean? But they they just was wrong, bro. Yeah. What it appeared to be, it wasn't. If it was, it would have went down, yeah. but it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. the only reason that saved, you know what I mean? And that that was a classic case of the hip-hop police yeah. being the hip-hop police. Yeah. Because it was like, oh, we heard these and these lyrics. Yeah. Murder, Inc. Yeah. I think we have a case, gentlemen. Or oh, they from the same neighborhood? He got to be. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's like, bro, it's not what happened. No, nah, not at you all. You, you live in your fantasies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you live in your fantasies, bro. It's not, it's not like that, bro. Yeah, man. Oh, but what can we learn from... Well, like you said, accountability, you know what I'm saying? Having people around to be like, nigga, nah. <laughs> yeah, bro, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, I feel like, you know how, like, when you first coming up in the game and, you know, you have PR training and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I feel like even once you master it, it's good for a person just to be around. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, just to, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, maybe you just, you know, she just... Because yeah. it looks wild. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It looks extremely wild right now. But then, at the same time, though, I mean, it, it that does make sense. That's what's supposed to happen. Yeah, yeah. But when you got F you money, you that's, can buy yeah. yes men and people to do whatever it is that you want to do. No, that's a fact. Because, I mean, how many people genuinely want to hear no in the first place for anything? Well, clearly not Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> that, I don't think he takes no very well. That's just off the settlement. So I, anything else, pure speculation, allegedly, I don't know. But yeah. I'm just saying, based on his track record, yeah, I don't know if that was a uh, that was in his mo. Yeah, man, sending uh, you know what I'm saying, Lord, <laughs> prayers, you know what I mean, for his family, man. You know what I'm saying, because they've been through a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean. It's gonna be a documentary coming about this, bro. Bro. First of all, Tubi don't be waiting for nothing, bro. No. It stuff be no. still happening. <laughs> no, 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 no. Tubi don't wait no. for nothing, bro. No, stop. Dog, when stop. that girl went missing for them three days, what was her name? I don't, I know. Car, whatever her name was. Y'all know who, who I'm talking about. She said she saw a baby on the side of the highway yeah. and then she got out and she was gone and yeah. then mysteriously popped back up. Yeah. Dog, the documentary was out <laughs> less than, no, it was a whole movie in less than a week. <laughs> no we, bro. Yo, it was another joint, bro. They, I forgot what happened, bro. But yeah, man, Tubi don't wait. Tubi's like, we need to get on this right now, bro. And Tubi's owned by Fox, bro. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Exactly. That that changes how I feel a little bit about Tubi. Yeah. Because at first I thought it was just Black Independence. I mean, it is. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> I, don't, I don't like Fox as an overseer. I don't like that. <laughs> it, don't, it don't sit right with me. <laughs> yeah, it, it puts some respect to some of the niggas you now. Huh? It's like, man, this seems a little, this a little too. But outside of that, I the reason why I love Tubi though is because for the people actually like really trying to do something, yeah, this is really good for them, bro. Facts, bro. I mean, bro. <laughs> Dog, you still got to see McGraw Ave, bro. I've started watch. I told you I started watching McGraw Ave. Bro. I think I'm, I might have made it through the first season. Dog, they got it from the mud, bro. My man had on a wife beater with the mic right here, <laughs> and, and for, they was talking back and forth. It was only one mic. So my man, on one scene, he was talking. He had the mic right here, and then it went to the other dude. And he had the mic. But you could barely hear the other dude talking. But that's why I loved it, bro. It was at the end of 
an episode or a season when Big Dude was on the roof or he was somewhere and he didn't know where to go after his lines was done. <laughs> he, was, he, was just, he was looking around like, am I done? <laughs> Yo, that one movie, man. And I know everybody has seen clips of this, bro, like TikTok and Instagram, bro. But that one, <laughs> that one movie where Dude shot Dude or stabbed him or something. He took off running and he fell. Mm. <laughs> He fell and he stayed there for a second because that nigga was really hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. That's all right because we coming for Tubi, bro. Oh yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, bro. look, listen, y'all, y'all, look, they hey, they gonna laugh at us, bro, till they see us. <laughs> facts, you know what I'm saying? hey man. So we get that Tubi money. Facts, bro. You can't tell me they ain't killing it, bro. They ain't out there killing it. They killing it so much that now making the low budget is just stylistic. <laughs> it's like you know we could. Put a million into this, but for what? You know, what I mean, people they loved are, it off of thirty five dollars, and people are doing numbers, bro. Numbers, Not only dog. doing numbers, there are people that actually enjoy these movies. Yeah, thoroughly. You know I'm, I'm one of them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> man, Shannon got me, bro. Oh my god, man. My wife got me. <laughs> she was she was the main one that made me start watching these movies, bro. Mm -hmm. And it was so funny, bro. I was like, bro. I'm like, no, I'm not watching this mm -hmm. with you, man. Hey, but Tubi is the cheat code for independent filmmakers, bro. It is. Because you know on YouTube, like, there's stuff you can't show, things you got to censor. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of rules that are kind of, you know, you don't know what you're going to get hit with on YouTube. Yeah. So if you're putting out a series or independent mm -hmm. stuff on YouTube, I mean, most of the time it'll be okay. But then it's those times that's not. That's inconvenient. Yeah. It's like you have episode one, two, four, five. So it's like, wait, what happened to three? Yeah. Oh, it got flagged. Yeah. Go to our Patreon and watch it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's crazy though, bro. Like the the things has come from YouTube as far as like creatives mm -hmm. creating like sit like a series and stuff yeah. like that. Vince Staples, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, the Vince Staples show that was like kind of you know what I'm saying started on YouTube. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He had did like I don't know how many episodes he did, but you know what I mean? It was just like an idea. Yeah. Um, Issa, Issa. You know what I'm saying? She came up off of YouTube, bro. She had put like different um what was it, bro? Um something black girl, if I'm not mistaken. You know what I'm saying? But then she ended up like getting a deal and she, you know what I mean, started insecure. Yeah. And that pick got picked up by HBO, I think. So it's crazy, bro. And you see how she blown up, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's crazy, bro. Yeah. And it's like and the thing is, bro, it's just like I mean, you got to work hard for it, yeah, but it's like, it's, everything is there for you. You just have to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, you know, if you are dedicated to doing it, it's it's almost no way that it, it can't happen. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's almost like it's designed for you to succeed. You have to pay a little bit, but I yeah. mean, outside of that, like, if you have a good product and you're consistent, you in there, bro. Exactly, bro. Listen, man, Cats being in other movies... You know what I'm saying? They getting deal, brand deals, all types yeah. of stuff, bro. Dog. And just for it don't, <laughs> it don't matter what they do to try to hold us back, bro. <laughs> we coming up, bro. Facts, bro. That's what I be trying to tell our people, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, look, bro. Survival mode, you know what I'm saying, is a false reality. You know what I mean? It seemed like it's real. You know what I mean? But, like, when you have a relationship with God, God will put you in places or he'll open up doors with what you have. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to starve to death. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody think I'm just die and I got to go kill somebody and rob somebody. Mm -hmm. That's not true, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it's so much that you can do, bro. Like if we come together as a community and just use purely our resources and our talents mm -hmm. and our gifts, we have more than enough, bro. All we got to do is market it, sell it, Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because people are already going to buy it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, but that's just, you know what I'm saying? I feel like every hood should be a production house, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they could, bro. I mean, I know that there's a few things that are going on out here. But, like, I I wish that. So, I saw, um I think Shannon sent it to the group. I saw that Pharrell is making a movie about his, like, I guess, his, him growing up in the 70s in Virginia Beach. Ah. Oh. But I don't even know if that's being shot out here, though, mm. because of the same reason that Hidden Figures wasn't. Because Virginia doesn't offer any real tax breaks when yeah. it comes down to people filming. Like, people were joking. They were like, there was an episode of NCIS that was supposed to be at Norfolk Naval Base with palm trees. 
<laughs> we ain't got that. Nah. <laughs> the palm trees we do have, they don't look like regular palm trees. No. They look like they irritated that they was moved from a Ex- tropical exactly. place. They don't even look like happy palm trees, nah. bro. Nah. And if you ever been on NOB, <laughs> there is nothing there but rusted buildings that are probably filled with asbestos yeah. and airstrip. And there's the pier like all the way in the back. Yeah. That's it. You ain't going to find. I mean, it's not much to really see there. Yeah. <clears throat> I completely forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> was like, hey, we both zoned out yeah, at the well, same like, exact time. Bro. It's like, what? Because I, I, I brought them up for a reason. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like... <laughs> I lost bro. everything. I yeah. was like... Mm, <laughs> Me too. I was like, that sound cool. <laughs> Dang. What was, I, <laughs> what was I talking for about? For real. Shooting in the beach. Yeah. So now the point I was making was that I wish that Virginia would do more to bring that aspect here because i mean it would if people were casting and people were shooting things in virginia it would change the industry you yeah know what I mean? like there's a lot well not well there's certain industry here but it's like the creative industry is notoriously difficult in virginia mm. because there's not really like so the industry like as a whole the music industry for example like you know they contract different studios and stuff like that like mm-hmm. you know the one studio we saw all the nice lights Soul Haven, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, there's a bunch of studios out here that the industry has contracts with that will send their artists here if they happen to be in the area or if they're on tour or say, like, hey, we just want you to go here. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. But other than that, you really don't see much. There was a film production house here a few years ago. I, you remember um, what I showed you? Yeah, yeah, yeah Like, yeah. they were, bro, I wanted to go work with them so bad, bro. But, mm-hmm. you know, obviously, you got to get your money up. Yeah, yeah. By the time I had some money, bro, they were like, I hit them up. They were like, oh, yeah, now we closed. We're in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And that was right around the time. That was either right before or right around the time Tyler Perry got his own studio. Gotcha. So Atlanta, you know, <clears throat> they've been offering them tax breaks, bro. Yeah. And filmmakers were like, why would we stay here yeah. when we can go there and do what we do for less and get more for what we do? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Exactly. It's like, ain't that much love in the world nah. <laughs> for nobody. Nah, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not at all. And they have like the full on like the the wires, the green screen, yeah. like yeah, like, man. I, it was I, like that. You know, it's I don't I don't get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I don't know because it's like it's almost like um, these things are deterrents. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's 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 less about the money. You know what I'm saying? And it's more of a deterrent that it just doesn't happen here. Cause you know yeah. certain people might want it to stay a certain way, and I'm just like, bro, it ain't even that serious, dog. Like, first of all, mad people are moving to Virginia, bro. Yes. In the seven five seven, bro. Yes. Like they building up complexes, like it ain't nothing. Yes. Where are these people gonna go? They need something to do. You know, what I mean? <laughs> like, bro, they can't. <clears throat> they can't just go to the beach. <laughs> Like, is that their plan? Like, just come to the beach and just we'll just keep making money off the beach. Like, bruh, it's so much more that could be happening, bro. And like people are so Yeah. Locals are so concerned about I don't know what they're concerned about, bro. Like, I don't I guess they just want things to, you know, stay the same. You just want to be able to run and I, not see nobody. I don't know. I don't get it. You know I, what I'm saying? It I don't know, bro. Cause I mean like we have so I mean the one thing the seven five seven is known for is our athletes. Okay. Like we have we produce athletes a dime a dozen that are yeah. successful in like every field, track, football, basketball, like Virginia turns them out effortlessly. Yeah. So that's the one thing that our area is known for is sports. So I mean, if you're involved in sports, that I mean you have a lot going for you here. But outside of that, anything creative, like it's not really it's just not really it ain't really it, you know what I mean? Like, and I, I don't know. To be honest, I really don't know why that is. Like, I never really yeah. stopped and thought about. It. I just you kind of like look at it and it's like you see what it is yeah. and you recognize it, but I don't know the why. Yeah, because I mean, like, this is definitely an area where, you know, <clears throat> it's a lot of, it's a lot of dynamic to the area. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I was having a conversation with this lady. She was from Memphis. Well, no, she was from uh, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. But she was just saying like how uh, in this area, it's like it kind of has a little bit of everything from other places. Mm-hmm. And when she said that, it kind of registered to me. I was just like, you know what? 
That that is true, bro. Cause when I go other places, it's certain. Pl- it don't matter where I go, bro. I can go to Pittsburgh. <laughs> it, like I can go to uh, DC. You know what I'm saying? Just different places, bro. And I'm always gonna see something that reminds me of Virginia mm-hmm. or area of Virginia. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and it's just like, yeah, we have so much. It would be great for. Uh, People come out here and shoot movies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been done, but, like, it's rare. Like, yeah, I, there was um there was something for Netflix a few years back that I think it was for Netflix that was being shot um in downtown Norfolk. Um, it was either a show or a movie. I can't remember which one. But, like, I think the, and I could be wrong, um, but I at least what I remember, the most notable one was when they shot on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge hmm. for Mission Impossible 2. Hmm. You remember that? Nope. <laughs> I ain't really? even know that happened. Really? For real? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I ain't even know that happened, bro. Yeah, in the second movie, bro. Um, when he was <clears> in that <throat> boat chase, that was the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Mm. So, but I'm like, that was when did Mission Impossible Two come out? <laughs> <laughs> you, did, bro. you know what's crazy, bro? Mm. People always popping up at Langley. You know what I'm saying? For a lot of movies. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't even know if that's true, bro. <laughs> like, y'all are really in Langley, Virginia? And you know what? For the longest time, I didn't even know what Langley was, bro. Mm-hmm. I was just like, where is that? We took a field trip there for ROTC because we were in Air Force ROTC when I was it, in school. It's like past, like, Hampton, Yorktown, that way, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's <clears throat> it's it's out there, Langley Air Force Base. But, um... You know what's interesting, though? Like, I think it's a little bit different for, like, military stuff. Because the military, I mean, they, they will film on, like, some bases. Mm-hmm. I don't know why NCS didn't film out here. But they, yeah. I know that they filmed on, on some of the bases out here before, though. But, yeah, man, like, I don't know. We need to we need to actually find people out here that are, like, involved with film to some extent. Yeah. And, like, really talk to them and get, like, a more educated perspective on True what they see because we're i mean we just see what we see but it's like i'm curious to know like what people that are actually in it like yeah how do they really feel about it because i talked to somebody before and they were like it's a lot of grants out here and a lot of whatever but it's like i don't see anything being produced out here yeah nah and like that's kind of that's what kind of sucks i mean it's like i know there's mad talented people out here but it's like you really don't see anything produced outside of music videos Mm -hmm. like you don't really see I mean, there like I know there is one series going. I can't remember what it's called, but Gung Ho was telling me about it. Uh-huh. So I know that that's going out here. But it's like I don't know, man. It's just like you don't see it, and it's like I spend an inordinate amount of time on my phone. Yeah, you know what I mean, as most <clears throat> Americans do. But I'm always on social media, bro. Always yeah. seeing like trying to see what's going on. And I'm like, yo, I'll never nothing be coming across my way where yeah. I click. Like, cause to me, it's the coolest thing, bro. I'm like, yo, this looks cool. I click on it. Oh, they from VA. Yeah. Oh, they from the seven five seven. Oh, they yeah. from the crib. Like yeah. I'd be pleasantly surprised when yeah. I see something cool and it's from the area. Yeah. But I don't be seeing none of that, bro. Yeah. Like, Why are you out and about, right? No, yeah. I don't see anything, bro. It's like. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, if you know, what I'm saying, if we just missing it, like, hit us up <laughs> in the comments, yo. Facts. Hit us up on Instagram, yeah, like, yo, invite us out. In. Yeah. If we'll we'll pull up. Facts. You know what I mean? Just educate us, bro. Because I mean, like, in creatives are inspired by other creatives Mm -hmm. so when you see something going on you know what i'm saying it it just wakes something up inside of you you know what i mean and for real for real bro like everybody's out here talking about all this violence and everything like that i'm like these kids need more to do bro and i'm like i especially (laughs) black kids bro yeah even in school even the introverts i knew bro all wanted to be in front of the camera yeah you know what i mean so it's like it's that's another way to provide an outlet and exactly. other things exactly. outside of thug and shoot music videos. Like, yeah, I, I feel like we've said this before, bro, and I say this all the time. But like, the problem here is exposure. If people were exposed to more here, yeah, it would be different. Yeah, but they're <clears throat> not. That's the problem. All people yeah. are exposed to is what they see online, and they're trying yeah. to get there. Like, I was talking to a teacher, bro, and she said that her students all come to school smelling like weed, drink. They're in high school on third and fourth grade reading levels, but they want to be business owners and influencers. This is what they want to do. Yeah. And I asked, I was like, so do some of them realize that there's a disconnect? And she was like, some do, but most don't. Yeah. It's just like, this is what I want because they see this online and it's like, well, 
I'm going to get to this. And but it's like, but you don't have any of the fundamentals yeah. to even attempt to try to get to what it is that you're seeing. Yeah. Because to them, that's reality. Yeah. This is life. This is yeah. what it is. And, you know, a lot of that is missing. So it's like, and that's why we got shout out Pastor Mo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause Facts. He did a lot in yeah. this area, bro. He's And he's <laughs> filling in that gap currently or working on it yeah with all the stuff he has going on out in hampton like the programs for like the students and everything yeah, like that 100 like that's the stuff that we need out here yeah because it's like you have to see that it's like oh wait i can do this yeah this is different you know what i'm interested in this like yeah you know i mean I mean? to go more in depth bro like they have a whole um studio they they have a whole room full of studio equipment bro like mm -hmm. <clears throat> To show people how to do podcasts, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like audio engineering, like mm -hmm. the whole nine, and that's amazing, bro. Yeah. I know Hampton spent <laughs> a lot of money, bro. I'm talking about Apple's Apple books, bro. MacBooks. Boy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about, bro. Boy, you know, bro. I don't own it. I what, don't what, own what, it. The, the, the Apple book? What the, the boys got what's the Apple books? What's it called, <laughs> the bro? The MacBook, man. The MacBook. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Talking like a slave. <laughs> oh, MacBoo. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, man, I'm here for y'all entertainment, man. Hey, man, just take your time, bro. Sorry, bro. But you know what I'm talking about, man. The new Apple computers. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, it's just like a big, giant box. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They have like a whole row of those. You know what I'm saying? Right, and, bro. Yeah, Pastor Mo has been brought on, you know what I mean, to 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 teach and Whew. you know what I mean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to build and, and run that program and it's amazing, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thanks, bro. But before that, you know what I'm saying, he oh. was uh he had a place in Portsmouth, you know what I mean? Shout out P Town, called the RPAD Center. RPAD. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Off of Victory Boulevard, you know what I mean? And yeah, like that was open for teens and preteens and kids and yeah, all the kids from the neighborhood, they would get a chance to go to a place that was right there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They learned how to uh do dance routines if you had dancing mm -hmm. gifts, you know what I'm saying? They got to be a part of seeing performances, they got to perform, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, doing art, poetry, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And he would give he would Teach them, you know what I'm saying, the word. You know what I mean? Pray for them and all of that. Yeah. So it was it was an amazing thing, bro. You know what I mean? So we need like more, more of that. So much more. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like the the part that's rough about it is um you'll like you'll you'll hear people kind of dismiss it when you talk to them because it'll be like, well, yeah, but you know, we don't have nothing because we don't know how to act. Yeah. And I, I, it's true. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna lie. Like it is, but at the same time, it's like you have to be willing to endure to condition. Because yeah, the problem bro. is you've been conditioned to one thing for so long. Exactly. That it's like when something else comes, it's like, yo, you're not gonna know how to act because you've already been conditioned. So yeah. you gotta build that into whatever it is that you're doing. Yeah. And it's, know that you're starting in a deficit. Yeah. It's something that people need to become aggressive about. You know what I'm saying? Just like with anything else. I mean, and I'm saying for those that are passionate about it, mm -hmm. like passionate about making change, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just got to realize what comes with it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yo, like a lot of what I say in my music is kind of like an anthem to that lifestyle of being willing to put it all on the line, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, for what you believe on what you believe in, you know what I'm saying? To to make things happen out here. You know what I mean? Or wherever you at. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shut up, man. Well, no, <laughs> Cause you looking at me like you waiting for me to fumble. No, bro. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I was thinking about Mac when you was talking, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I was listening though, bro. My mind. It was like Mac Boo. He gonna say it again. Say it again, Mac Boo. I'm not saying nothing about Mac anymore for the rest of this podcast, yo. I was listening, bro. Why did you stop? You was on the I seen it bro. in your eyes. <laughs> I seen it in your eyes, bro. Yeah. 
I know that look, man. It was just, it was, I was paying attention. <laughs> it was just ringing in my back of my head, bro. Don't let that distract you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I was here with you, bro. You know what I mean, don't be distracted, dog. But yeah, man, we got to become aggressive about it. You know what I'm saying? And take a stand, man. I'm like, because either you going just let, like, the rest of the world is aggressive about uh, getting money and everything that they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. At your expense. They are attacking aggressively. It is no days off. They is not stopping, bro. They mm -hmm. like, I want, I have 30 million pennies and I want yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm like, you got to have that same attitude, bro, about anything. Whether, you know what I'm saying? You just mentoring, whether... Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You provide an outlet for kids to be creative. You know what I'm saying? Or even if you just being an example of that, bro, yeah. of just being a productive black individual. You know what I'm saying? And I say that because, you know, mostly it's us that come from these, you know what I'm saying, type of environments. You know what I mean? Black mm -hmm. and brown. You know what I mean? It's a few other other others in there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Military, shout out to Military Highway. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But like all of us, man, like you have to you have to go off, go after it, bro. For real. Yeah. No, you're right, man. Because uh, that's why, you know, that's that's honestly why a lot of the motivation why I'm like, you know, just trying to do everything that I'm doing, man. Just because it's like, yo, people can see. Because like, you know, driving for Lyft and Uber, bro, the people I pick up, like, especially like some of like the younger people, like, they would be in it 10 toes down, bro. Yeah. If somebody brought it to them. Yeah, 100%. But they'd be like, they don't ain't nothing to do yeah you know what i'm saying that's why they leave you bro <laughs> and they'd be like well yeah man. all right like i get it bro like because if you're into like you know stuff like that i'm like why stay in va when you can go to new york you can go mm -hmm. to la you can go to miami yeah you can go to houston or dallas yeah you know what i mean like there's so many different places you can go that are hubs for entertainment you can go to atlanta like i mean it's more competitive yeah but you know most of those places you're going to find somebody that's in where it is you're trying to go and they're going to help you get there yeah whereas in virginia you're likely in virginia <laughs> <laughs> see in, how it comes back around in virginia <laughs> <laughs> in old virginia <laughs> in yeah, mac man. boo and virginia <laughs> Bro, that's we, why we got we all the time limit, bro. That's, yeah, man. That's how I know, bro. Like we got to do what we got to do because when we get too old, we ain't gonna be able to talk. Bro. Like, what, what? We not, bro. Already forgot our train of thought in the podcast. Mac Boos, Virginians. So <laughs> they're gonna be like, I don't understand how y'all rap so well. That's that's all we got left. That's going. <laughs> that's what it's gonna devolve to if we don't <laughs> hurry up and do what we got to do. For real, man. But I, I understand it. So it's like you know, Virginia wants to keep their their talent pool. That I'm like, they got to expand into that arena. You yeah. Because I mean? it's like, everybody's designed to be creative. You know what I mean? But like, the disenfranchised kids are the ones who really need that access to see yeah. it. Because you're not getting that exposure. Like, I'm thankful that my parents had me travel at a young age. Yeah. Because I saw different things. I saw different places. I saw that, okay, there's life outside of Virginia. Yeah. I saw that, okay, there's, this is different. Like, yeah. all right. You know what I mean? And like, it opened my mind to just so much more. Yeah. So that it's like, you know, even being here, it's like, I understand. It's like, all right, yeah, we're in Virginia, but it's like, I'm thinking on a, a national and global scale with the things that we're doing. Yeah. Because it's like, the stuff out here is cool, but it's like, looking at the broader picture, it's like, this is where we need to be at. Yeah. You know, so it's like, Let's take steps, not skip the necessary steps, but like let's take steps to get there because that's the, you know what I mean? That's the end game. That's the end goal is to be global. You know yeah. What I mean? With everything that we got going on. So, no, that's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact, bro. I can't wait to start working on stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? Life has been lifing. Yeah. It, it has, bro. That's why we up here talking like this, bro. Exactly. It's like stuttering and forgetting the trains of thoughts. And look, through the stutter, uh, we still coming, bro. Exactly. I mean, we, we working, man. For real, man. But, you know what I mean? It feels good to be able to look back and see the, the progress you made. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, it's it, we ain't... <laughs> We not stopping, bro. No. You know what I'm saying? We not stopping. If nothing else, let this be an example to y'all that no matter what you're going through. <laughs> exactly, bro. Keep on trucking, baby. Exactly, man. You know it'll what I'm get saying? better eventually. Yeah, it's just man. eventually can be a while sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Take, and take off. Though. It's good to set goals and all of that. Due dates, amazing. But take off time limits. You know what I'm saying? As far as like, you know, 
being held to that. Like, if this doesn't happen by then, it's never going to happen. Yeah, like, nah. take that off your mind. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Go after yours aggressively. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because people, they not going to know until they see, man. Exactly. You know what I mean? And you have something to offer. Yeah, and gifts are timeless, man. It doesn't yeah. matter how old you are, how Facts. young you are. Facts. Like, it's people that's got, I think, what was it? I think dude got signed to, like, a record label at, like, 59, bro. Yeah. I think he was, like, a rapper or something like that. <laughs> and he balling, bro. Listen. I'm like, anything is possible. He's probably bro. out here doing shows. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't, like, like, first of all, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Hit Boy and his pops, bro. I don't know if you've been tapped in with, like, because <clears throat> I follow Hit Boy on Instagram, the producer. His pops came home, came home. His pops <laughs> came home, you know what I'm saying, from prison, bro. And basically jumped into a rap career, bro. He done already collab with Game, Snoop, uh, La Russell, you know what I'm saying? He dropped the album, you know what I mean? Like, like, and it's up, you know what I mean? And it's like, that is just like, you know, that's not most people's situation, you know what I'm saying, where even if their son was a big producer, mm -hmm. where they can just come in and they son be like, yo, let's work on this album, and you actually are like, you know what I mean? You actually getting it. You know what I mean? Like, he's getting it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, that's it's just dope to see. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, I mean, you know, he didn't let a situation stop him, apparently. Exactly, bro. My man was like, yo, I'm outside. Bro. You know what I'm saying? But just the side note to that, bro. Youngberg into Hit Boy mm -hmm. was the, the turnaround of the century, bro. What you mean? Because you know that Hit Boy is Youngberg, right? That's hit maker. Hit maker? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I thought it was the same person. Nah. <laughs> I was like, what? You sure? Yeah. Hold on, man. Yeah. Yeah. He just said it a lot. Because I ain't know at first. I but Bert, yeah. But Bert been out here killing it, too. They, I don't know if it was him or Metro Boomin that was kind of going back and forth for like, yo, that kind of competition when it came to making beats. <clears throat> Yeah, yep, hit maker. Yeah, but hit boy, he's on the West Coast. Okay. Yeah. Boy, yeah. I ain't know it was another one. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm trying to think of uh I can't think of what songs. Um, I know I mean hit boy's a big producer, bro. He done work with a lot of people, bro. Yeah, I've heard the name before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just like my mind is all berg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was all berg, bro. <laughs> I don't feel like who is Young Bird. <laughs> like y'all don't know who Young Bird. Y'all just y'all was a different those, time. Yeah, just that he's was, hit maker now. Yeah, you know that was a he's, different time. He's changed now. <laughs> 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 he's a changed man. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's just it's just amazing and and encouraging to see. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you just gotta continue to strive, continue to produce, mm -hmm. continue to create. You know what I mean? Ah, <sighs> yes. <laughs> Strive continue, bro. I'm just I'm over here like this because I'm just like, bro. I'm just thinking about everything that I still have to do. Yeah, you know what I mean. But it's like, you know, it's it's gonna get done. But I just wish that like, I wish that it could have happened on my timeline. Yeah. But it's like so much stuff happened between October and now, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's it's um amazing, bro. Yeah. How. A few short months can set you back so far, bro. Yeah. It's incredible, dog. But it's okay, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because we're going to get to it. But right now, you got the glow, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, dog, I'm coming for Tubi, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm coming for Tubi, dog. Facts. You know what I mean? Like, my hope is that I can work a little bit less as the the month continues on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, up until, like, May. Hopefully, in May, I can be like, ah. You know what I'm saying? I'm supposed <laughs> to be like, ah, now. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, ah, and now I got to pay another thousand dollars to get my Hummer fixed, bro. So it was like, ah, hold your breath. It's like, ah. Listen, bro, that ha has been gone for a long time over here, bro. So I'm like, bro, just we walk up to the party, bro. You know I, what I'm I saying? I don't want to be here. I don't want to be at the party. I don't want to. How do I get invited here, bro? Listen, man. But it's building, bro. It's building the character needed. You know what I'm saying? To sustain where we're going, bro. For real. Yeah. It has to be. <laughs> there's no other. <laughs> there's no other reason for it. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was tired, boss. I'm just like. 
Oh, and it's like that meme, bro. Every time you get a little bit of money, your car is like, let me hold that. Because <laughs> that's exactly I got <laughs> my other car up. back from that debacle. And as soon as I get my other car back, here go the yeah. Hummer. Yeah, we're just not going to start now. Yeah, man. And yeah, inflation, man. bro. Everything's so expensive, bro. I'm yeah. like, what happened to back in the day, bro, where you could fix something for $300, bro? Ah. <sighs> Yeah, them what? days is gone. <laughs> what? Them days is gone, Every bro. Every time something go wrong, it's a thousand dollars minimum, bro. Bro, yeah, it's I'm, crazy. I'm bro. like, is this just the way the world is now, bro? Bro, I'm happy to see the charger back, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got someone wants you to hear it too. You know what I'm saying? After this is over, all right. You know what I'm saying? In the charger. So, I know about the charger speakers, right? Okay. So the the fidelity is more because the speakers are more detailed on vocals mm -hmm. but the the bow system in the hummer bro the bass is booming bro yeah like you can hear that like you can hear that for a little <laughs> ways away because i was like all right i mean like the charge is dope it's cool you know yeah. I mean? like, if you want a, a balanced sound yeah but like you know what i mean if you if you want the niggatry <laughs> you know what i'm saying dog, the hummer bro. <laughs> hummer be cranking bro dog i'll be hearing it bro and i'm like dang that's the hummer yes bro it's like in my mind i just don't expect that i don't know why me neither but it'd be booming bro but speaking of cars hummers and spending obnoxious amounts of money so something that you might want to think about and a business tip for anybody who's driving lyft uber or just has a business with their cars okay right da 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 <laughs> Bro. So, well, let me let me phrase how I want to say this because I'm not trying to uh, draw the attention of any agencies. <laughs> so let me, let me think about how I want to word this. So, as an American citizen, we all have to pay our taxes, mm -hmm. right? So, there are ways, right? Come over into the shot a little bit because you, you know, I mean, <sighs> there you go. You know what I'm saying? Got to shimmy on over. <laughs> so there are ways where you know you you can have write-offs and do write-offs to where you're going to lower how much you actually have to pay for tax i'll mm. say it like that right? yeah, yeah yeah you can you can lower what you have to pay substantially right and a lot of that is revolving around your car mm. so if you make forty thousand dollars with uber um i don't have the exact percentage in my mind i forget but let's just say you owe like fifteen thousand dollars in taxes right because mm -hmm. i mean it's possible depending on how much you drive Fifteen thousand is a lot, actually. So let's say you owe like I don't know seven thousand dollars in taxes, right? Mm -hmm. So you can write off mileage with your car, right? And mileage is usually the best write off if you don't have any repairs, yeah, yeah. right? But what I realized and why I was sick because I missed a lot of opportunities when I had the BMW. But what I realized is if you put money into your car and you know for repairs or other things that need to happen for your yeah. car, right? <clears throat> All that is a write off. And depending on how much you spend on your car, basically, you know, you're almost negating the amount that you have to pay in taxes because you're actually putting that into your car. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, you have to pay taxes anyway. So do you want to pay the taxes and just not get anything back for it? Or do you want to put it into your car, reduce your taxes, possibly have the government owe you? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Or what have you. So, like, it made me think about it. I was like, okay, well, so now I have a list of things I need to do to my car because I need to offset you know my taxes because i'm driving so much yeah, yeah you know what i mean so you know whatever your dreams are for the honda you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> whatever your dreams are for the honda bro this might be the year to make them come true you know what i mean the honda gonna be crazy bro you're gonna be riding on 36s out here <laughs> <laughs> riding on dubs but yeah and it's it sounds simple but like once you actually get into it and you know, especially if you do your own taxes like you know you'll find that all right, it'll make sense when you do it. It's like, yeah. all right, I'm writing off, all right, like, I need, so my speakers have gone out. And this is what made me think about it. All right, I have to replace my speakers because this is a benefit for the passenger, mm -hmm. right? I have Spotify, so I can write this off because this is also a benefit to the passenger. I'm paying for this. Mm -hmm. I can write off, you know, my cell phone bill or a portion of my cell phone bill because I'm using this to work. Yeah. You know what I mean, I need new rims and tires because Virginia potholes chew up my rims and tires constantly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I need to put a supercharger on my RT because superchargers are actually more fuel efficient than, you know, having a naturally aspirated engine mm -hmm. because of physics. Mm -hmm. Right off. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, it's stuff like this where it's like, you know, you can put money into your business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And when you put money into your business, it'll lower, you know, your taxes, essentially. That's that's the simple way to explain it. You know what I mean? Word. So, yeah. So, if you're not writing off mileage, definitely start putting money into your car. Word. 
Appreciate the tax class, my brother. <laughs> my man. <laughs> this has been brought to you by <laughs> <laughs> niggas gonna go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be up here by myself, like, yeah, uh, so uh <laughs> You know, we going, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Free the homie, man. Come to Kazi Charles, hey, man. I'd be like, subscribe to Patreon. You can hear my jail calls for free. <laughs> no, you be having you on a podcast from jail, bro. Yeah, I'd be like, it hey, was good, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I'm still fighting the case, but, <laughs> man. <I> Please. <laughs> <laughs> Call will end in one minute. Bruh. Like, yeah, man, I need to talk to the same person Wesley was talking to. <laughs> but, boy, you ain't never getting out. That's the case. <laughs> but, yeah, man, it's just, it's just. You know, it's there's so much stuff, bro, that you just don't learn in school. Yeah. That I had to find out through trial and error, bro. Do you understand how much money I could have had back for all the stuff I had to do to the BMW mm. that I didn't understand that like because I was I did drive for DoorDash for a little bit with my beamer. Yeah. I mean, I wrote off mileage, I believe. But I could have wrote off a whole lot more, bro. Mm. Like I spent a lot of money, bro. Yeah. And I could have written off almost ten thousand dollars worth of things <laughs> in general gracious yeah, it was like that bro so yeah man the more you know bro but financial tips with charles <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah for real but hopefully you know what i'm saying people can take that you know what i mean digest it dissect it you know yeah. do your research take so you don't to go to CPA. jail yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? for real i've man. been doing my own taxes for a while now you know what i'm saying I haven't got audited so it's it's good it's a blessing you Word. know what i'm saying I haven't gotten flagged for anything you know what I'm saying? Because I'm honest with my taxes, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't be lying. You know what I'm saying? But you better have a reason for everything. And I have a reason for everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can justify it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if they want to come ask, I mean, I ain't make nothing up. Yeah. But you're going to be looking through a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you got your hands full for a while. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But nah, man, you got to you gotta be honest with your taxes. Because if you're not, it people don't realize it only takes one audit for your whole world to come crashing down if you get audited if you're not honest on your taxes yeah because when they find one thing they'll find another and they find another and they find yeah. another you don't want their attention no nah. these like these are people that are meticulous yes. you know what i'm saying like <laughs> like this is what they they do mm -hmm. you know what i mean they dig through each and everything and they can explain to you exactly why you owe this money yeah you know what i mean and the crazy part is that you can get out of it and they end up owing you more money yeah you know what i'm saying yeah lord god we're just praying right now <laughs> <laughs> what the devil stole god <laughs> is yeah. released hey for real and honestly i mean that's kind of a blessing because <clears throat> like i i allegedly hypothetically would possibly fall into that category mm. just because i possibly might have accidentally underreported some stuff mm. and i didn't realize that i underreported allegedly yeah. And I was like, oh, so, you know, that's a, that's kind of, you know, one in the chamber. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't mad about it. I'm like, oh, okay, well, Thanks. okay, we can, you know, we can make that work, man. But, yeah, no, like, but the goal is, you know what I'm saying, eventually to get to the point where it's like, yo, like, I, I can't even begin to explain this, but, like, there are people that have a level of financial literacy far beyond my own yeah. this man was explaining how to have a business in your trust and how to cycle everything back to your trust so you don't have to pay any taxes and your trust pays you yeah i just need <laughs> i need somebody like that to walk me through that won't rob me blind you know what i'm saying like because a lot of people like that bro they still be robbing people man like just because look man just because you're smart you know what i'm saying in this particular mm -hmm. area you know what i'm saying and like you really are into this don't mean that you take advantage of everybody else, bro. But it's so many people that are accountants that rob people blind because they figured they can get away with it, bro. So, well, first of all, yes, there are people that, and you see it a lot in the music industry. <clears throat> yeah. And sports. Fat Joe I mean? got robbed, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and it was paying, skimming off the top. It was paying for kids, mm -hmm. all types of stuff, bro. But, and, you know, you know, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. You know what I'm saying? But there are some things that make you go, hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know the whole thing that TikTok, the Chinese people are spying on us. We yeah, know yeah. China's spying on us. It's not a surprise. You know what I'm saying? China watching everything. But the thing is, there are things on TikTok that you ain't going to see nowhere else. Yeah. And TikTok be telling the truth, bro. <laughs> and a lot of these people on TikTok be giving the game out, bro. Yeah, thanks. And a lot of people are like, we don't like this. Yeah. Because they're basically... A lot of people have blown up... 
just from the knowledge that they've received from TikTok. Yes, bro. Like, and the people on TikTok are breaking down systems that were never explained, that were super complicated. Yeah. And they're like, hey, this is what this is. In five minutes, bro. <laughs> bro. They giving classes. Like, yes. it's crazy, bro. And it's like, so for all, like, the shady accountants, there's so many people on TikTok giving out game for free, bro. Yeah. I mean, it benefits them from ad. Well, I don't even know if TikTok gets ad revenue anymore, but it does, you know, it benefits them. But there are some people that are just like, yo, you need to know this. Yeah. And they spill all the beans. And it's like, yeah. oh. Yeah. Didn't know that. Yeah. So I'm like. You know, education is everywhere now, man. Yeah, that's how I found out about, like, you know what I'm saying? I I don't know if it's 100% solid, but, you know what I'm saying, the lady was talking about when you bury your uh, parents or loved ones on your mm -hmm. property, you know what I'm saying, they cannot come take your house, nor can they, uh, you have to pay taxes on it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I was like, yo, that's amazing and that's crazy. And this is and they was like, This is why they always try to get you to go to the funeral home and get mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying, buried somewhere else somewhere else instead of on your own property. You know what I mean? I think the only caveat to that is that I you might have to have a certain acreage to your house. True. For that to happen. Um hmm. I told my mom to talk to an attorney about that. Yeah. Um because <laughs> yeah. nigga, nigga, I'll bury somebody on <laughs> in my backyard bro that i'm renting bro and be like look y'all can't kick me out my mama back here bro and like, they gonna uh, dig your mom's up and be like huh <laughs> take you and your mom and get out bro, <laughs> bro i'll be so mad i'll be like, huh, huh? <laughs> be like yo for real that's why you gotta do your research, man. Exactly. Yeah. Just talk to the, the people that know. It's good to get the initial information. Yeah. But it's like anything. You know what I'm saying? People give you a prophetic word. Okay, yeah. that sounds cool. I'm gonna take it to God. You exactly. Go go take it to the source. Go take it to somebody who know more than you know. Yeah. Even when you get a prophetic word. Bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> go back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sit on that thing for a little while. Pause. Whoa. Hey, <laughs> yo. yo. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Woo. Yes, it was. Let it marinate. Now, on that note, <laughs> we coming up on an hour, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we appreciate y'all for rocking with us this long. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Being entertained by our foolishness mm -hmm. and our random conversations. We talk about some of everything, man. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully, you feel like you're right here in the room with us. Hey. We, we appreciate you. We do, and I know we started off this pro uh, this podcast uh, as an introduction to us because we do music. So if you're wondering where that's at, it's still coming. <laughs> I promise you. You know what I mean? Okay. Yes. A, a quick note about that because yeah. I I do. You know I'm the logistics guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. It it is and it is. I can confirm that. Uh, my boy, D Faith. This guy, Moi? yeah, he's he's been working on a project that's that's hard. We actually we have shot a video for it, but my life was already crazy, and when we shot this video. My life got even crazier. Yeah. So I was like, okay. So he actually has a video shot. He is working. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so the reason why you haven't seen him is partially my fault. So hey. we're working on that though. But it it is happening. I promise that there's work happening behind the scenes. You gotta see a lot more of us. You know yeah. what I mean? I I recorded the verse for his project before we got here on the podcast. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, it. it is happening. Slowly, that it may be, but it is. But the goal is, once we have things that are circulating into the environment on the internet, we can keep these things spinning. Because we do have stuff that's already out. Yeah. But the problem is that we, uh, we, we really did not have what was necessary to maintain yeah. at the time. Um. You know, it's great ideas and still things that are going to be implemented. But, yeah. you know, it just it just things and finances and constant motion and life rearranging. Exactly. Yeah. It's like it's all good. Yeah. And it's it's one of those things, bro, where it's like I've just had to accept the fact that I'm like, OK, things are in flux right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So because things are in flux, I just have to do what I can when I can. Yeah. And, you know, be fine with possibly not doing anything again for another month as long as everything still sits at the forefront exactly you know what i mean me as a person hates that yeah. tremendously because that's not how i work <laughs> yeah but at the same time it's like well okay there's a lot happening there's a lot going on so it's like 
you know, as long as you're still working, it's fine. The problem is when you stop and you start chilling or it's like yeah. your mind is no longer there. Your mind is relaxed. Your mind is like, okay, I don't want to, you know what I'm saying, X, Y, and Z, like yeah. all of that. And that was my problem in the past before. Like, because you know, I always cry. I need time and money. And yeah. I, don't, I always got one or the other. Yeah. I had time and money during the pandemic. And what I do? <laughs> <laughs> chilling, bro. Yeah. Chilling hard. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be the first one to tell you that that was my fault. You know what I mean? We spoke about that already in the podcast, but I'm a firm believer in taking personal responsibility for my actions. Yeah, you, know you got I mean? to, man. Yeah, because people try to blame other people. People try to blame God. It's like, Mm-mm, nah, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> the, the devil, he made... Nah, nah. nigga. It's you. <laughs> You're the problem. This is your fault. You're lazy. You don't do X, Y, and Z. All of that. People got to be real with themselves, bro. Yeah. People have to have real conversations with themselves, dog. You have to. You know what I'm saying? I know yeah. we're wrapping up, but I, I have to say this, bro. People are delusional, bro. Yeah. And they don't have them conversations with themselves. It's yeah. like, yo, if you have a problem, you need to acknowledge that you have a problem. Yeah. And then you can fix it. The exactly. first step to solving your problem is admitting you have one, bro. Exactly. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I look at my issues and I'm like, okay, how much of this is self-caused? All right. Boom. Let me eliminate all the issues that I've caused myself. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Because I've caused a lot of issues myself. And I was like, you know what? Let me fix this. So now I have the peace of mind knowing, even though my life is insane, it's not my fault. Yeah. Not now anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, before it was, it was it was my fault. But before that, I'm, or after that, I'm like, yo, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do now, bro. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, look, I'm in line. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't look, I don't messed up. You know what I'm saying? Screwed up, <laughs> slipped up, all the ups. You know what I'm saying? I'm here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I'm straight and narrow, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? In, in, in your white tee. In you my know? white tee, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm a model citizen now, bro. You know what I mean? So. It, it brings me peace of mind, and that's that's I'll leave with that. Like if you're doing what you're supposed to do, and you know that you're doing what you're supposed to do, and yeah. stuff is still crazy, hang on, don't give up. It's okay to be tired. It's okay to be mad. It's okay to be frustrated. Yeah. It's okay to set things down for a second, but yeah. it's never okay to quit. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Not on your purpose, not on your life. Yeah. Not on the people that love you. You know what I mean? Not on your life. Exactly. No, yeah. you need to keep that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's a that was the probably the last of the caffeine. And I'm going to leave now on a high note because <laughs> anything beyond this, I can't guarantee what I am. And I'm not going to say it. I don't want to give you any anything to cut off. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Double-edged podcast. We out, baby. Hey.